In this example, we'll see how to create user-defined function in Microsoft Excel. Let's suppose the following example that we have five employees and I would like to calculate the tax amount for every employee according to its gross salary. There is a business requirement as shown below. If the basic salary less than or equal 1000 US dollar, then the tax rate should be 10%. If the gross salary is less than or equal 2000, rate should be 20%. If the gross salary between 2000 and 3000 US dollar tax rate must be 30%. Greater than 3000, tax rate will be uh, tax, uh, tax rate should be used uh, for the person. Now in order to start developing my function I just have to click Control F11 to display Visual Basic for Application Editor and start developing my function. Function slammer get text Salary as double. Now I have defined the function. The function name is Osama Git Text, and this is the, ver the and this is the address of the uh, variable of the gross salary that is going to uh, be sent to the function in order to be processed according to certain criteria. And the function should turn back the uh, tax amount after being calculated. In order to send back the tax amount after being calculated from the function, I just have to add this statement, which is uh, function name equal the variable in which I will uh, save the tax amount after calculating it. I will suppose it's, uh, for instance, tax amount. First of all, I have to define tax amount for my function by this statement, then tax amount and double. And then after that, I will start developing my tax criteria by select statement, select case G salary. Then I will indicate in, in select. Between I should just type my cases. Case G salary uh, less than or equal 1000. Then uh, then tax amount equal G salary times 10 percent. The equation should be should differ according to the criteria. Second case is less than or equal 2000. Tax amount should be calculated according to the rate of 20 percent. Case less than or equal 3000. Tax amount should be calculated according to the rate of 30 percent. Else, case else, tax amount will be calculated according to 40 percent. Now, my tax function, tax calculation function is ended. This is the select case that will calculate the tax amount according to the according to the uh, gross salary uh, received by the function and after calculating it I will store it in the tax amount variable and then send it back from the function to the Excel sheet. In order to examine this function I just uh, have to press Control plus Q in order to close Visual, Fa Visual Basic for Application Editor and then I start to highlight the cell in which I would like to calculate uh, the tax amount or use my function and then go to insert function and then from user defined function I will see my function listed with the 
ready-made functions of Microsoft Excel and any other user defined functions. I will choose get Osama get text. This is my function and then press OK. Once I press OK, the function argument will when will appear asking me where is the cell reference from which the function will use uh, will get the input cell will get its input uh, of the gross salary. I will click here to define or select the sale of the gross salary of the first employee. Then later on, I will copy the uh, sale to the rest of the employees with the relative referencing. Once I click here, the sale reference of the gross salary of what it will be added to the argument of the function. Then after that, I will press OK. Automatically, the function has calculated the salary and put it according to its uh, criteria or according to its required rate uh, of uh, 20 percent. Uh, then I will copy the function to the rest of the document. Now all taxes, all tax amounts calculated to all employees according to uh, the gross salary and according to the business requirements of uh, tax rate. Thank you.